Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yesterday, the New Jersey Devils played the Montreal Canadiens on home ice. The New Jersey Devils are a couple points out of the second wild card spot in the East, and they were really, really looking to get some points out of this game. Normally, it would have been an ideal matchup for the Devils, but unfortunately for them, they are riddled with injuries, so it was not that great. The Devils went scoreless until the third period, where they immediately scored two goals back to back, tying up the game as the Habs had scored one in the first and one in the second. There was no more scoring until the 16th minute of the third when the Habs finally took the lead and finished off the Devils in a heartbreaking loss. It was an all right game for the Devils in terms of game statistics, but they got very unlucky and they weren't able to pull it off. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is how Lindy Ruff, the head coach of the Devils, responded to a question about young forward Alexander Holtz. For reference, Holtz ended up scoring the game-tying goal against the Habs in the third period, and he's been performing quite well lately. However, Lindy made the decision to give Holtz noticeably less time in the third period after after he scored the game tying goal. Obviously, this decision was confusing for some people, and he was even asked a question about it after the game. Essentially, the question he was asked was, what went into the decision of benching Alexander Holtz after he scored the game tying goal? I don't know what exactly made Lindy respond this way, and maybe I'm misunderstanding, but he seemed to immediately be annoyed with the question. This is what he said. Um, again, uh, you don't watch the game very well. So if you look at the opportunity in the second period where he threw a puck in the middle of the ice, you get a point blank scoring chance. In a, in a one goal game. When you make a play like that, then it's going to be hard to get back on the ice. We just give him a quality scoring chance off a play where we put it in the middle of the ice, where we don't need to put it in the middle of the ice. This was a pretty antagonistic answer, and it really reminded me of the style of John Tortorella or Paul Maurice in the way that he got right to the point and didn't spare anyone's feelings. But I just think on this issue, he's wrong. Of course, you don't want the puck turned over when it's a tie game, but Holtz is an impressive offensive creator, and with your main guys like Hughes and Timo either out or not really producing, you need someone like that to get the game going. I'm sure I could have been wrong, but we lost the game with Holtz benched anyway, so clearly it couldn't have gotten worse. I want to know what you guys think, though. Was Lindy right about this? How do you guys feel about his statement and the way he treated Holtz? Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I really appreciate you watching the video, and remember to like and subscribe. Peace.